at Capernaum Camp, we our goal is to have at least one buddy um, with every one of our friends who has a disability. Um, many of our buddies are high school kids or adult leaders who come with the area, who know the kids already, who go to club with us at home um, and come to camp and are going to hang out with their friend for the week of camp. We also are enjoying having discipleship buddies come who are from an area they haven't met the kids yet. Um, but they're going to come and serve for those five days of camp as a buddy. What we would suggest to those people is that they contact the Capernaum um, leader that they're going to be buddied with before camp even starts. They can talk through um, names of kids. Um, they can be praying for one another. They can start to get to know each other over the phone. Maybe if they live cl in close proximity, maybe they could even get together um, before camp. Once they get to camp, the idea is that they're going to spend the entire day together. They're going to um, become friends. They're going to get to know one another. They're going to hang out and serve in any way that they can to enable their new friend who has a disability to have the best week of their life. Um, this is a next step in their walk with Christ. As we learn to love um, God more, we desire to serve Him by serving others. And that's the idea of, for these buddies. For example, Brian Hall with Asian Young Life has brought um, his Young Life kids for two years now to help with Capernaum campers. And he's going to tell you a little bit more about that. Well, first thing I'd say is definitely get your kids here because this is the best way for your campaigner kids to grow as Christians, more so than going on a campaigner's weekend or anything else. Like you need to get them here. Wait one second. I'm going I'm to leave that in. <laughs> okay, so what would you do to get them ready? So I think it's really important that you explain to them what the schedule is going to be like a little bit. I think I mistakenly um, didn't fully explain everything that's going to be demanded of my kids. And I think that they probably needed to come with a better understanding that it starts early in the morning with trying to help the Capernaum kids get ready for the day. And then pretty much continues until um, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock at night when they get ready to go to bed. And I, th I would just encourage your kids to begin to have a a heart for the Capernaum kids. Maybe you could have some seminars at your campaigners group begin to teach them a little bit about what they need to know. But I think the most important thing though is just really tell them that they're here to serve, they're not here to go blobbing, they're not here to go down the zip line, that they're really here to serve and they have to have that mentality that pretty much from 8 in the morning till 9 o'clock at night that they've got to have that kind of vision that they're here to work with those kids. Um, Give me a minute to think about some other stuff. That I did. Only that ties in a little bit with what I did with you. Especially if you're if if you're a trip leader, I would really encourage you to try to connect with the group that you're going to be working with, and if at possible, try to get the list of names of kids that your kids will be working with before you go to Capernaum Camp. And I think there's two reasons for this. One is you can then give these names of these kids to your um, campaigner kids so that they begin to have a vision of what their actual purpose is. So if they know that they're going to be assigned to these two kids, they can already have this excitement when they actually come to camp to meet those kids. And the second thing is, this could be a way that you could get your campaigner kids to start praying long before they actually come to camp and pray specifically by name for these kids. And I think it'll help them to feel more connected when they arrive here at Capernaum because then they'll know, like, oh, this is the kid that I've been praying for and I'm excited to finally meet this kid. And I think that it'll just help a little bit more in the process so that the first day or two they're not wandering and not really sure who they should be spending time with. So definitely try to connect earlier if you can with the Capernaum leader and, and by all means have your kids start praying by name for the kids that they're going to be ministering to because then it's almost like almost like a matchmaking service where they, they're looking forward to meeting the kid that they've already been hearing so much about or praying about and so forth. I think that could help wonders. I might even recommend for Capernaum leaders if they could even give like little profiles of some of their kids to the campaigner kids so that it kind of helps them know who they're going to be meeting when they come to camp. I think um, if you can get more of that out of the way first and start to build these bonds, then the campaigner's kids will know exactly who they're supposed to be ministering to, will be feel like they need to stay with that kid all day and it just might help um, 
the whole ministry would work so much smoother. Well, I think it's been so great for my kids to see Jesus Christ lived out in not only the leaders from the Capernaum groups, but even from the kids themselves. A number of my kids have said that they've actually seen Christ by the way the kids have ministered to my kids. And I don't think that any sermon or Bible study could recreate what they've experienced just by living here and working with uh, the kids that are at this camp. So it's just been an amazing opportunity to see my kids begin to grow and really understand what being a Christian is truly all about.